Bro, what the heck? This dude has opened 13.4 million X. And this guy, 12.1 million. Hey, what the heck? What, what server have I joined? Dude, I feel like a noob. I'm not best in the server. I mean, in terms of egg hatches. Where are they all grinding? Oh, they're all AFK? There's a guy who's not AFK. Keto Blasts. Will he try and scam me? Well, he just... He's a noob. He just got access to trading now. Trade me, newcomer. Trade me. There we go. Do not try and scam me, okay? Give him a shiny celestial split and... Oh, I'm a lot less pro than you. Okay, nice. So I don't know how can I scam you. You, uh, you can remove pet fast without me noticing. What do you want to trade that with? Don't worry, I will find more. We're not done yet with pets here. Oh, there we go. Shiny cartoon exarium. So free. No. I want you to offer, like a fair trade. Okay, very bad offer, but since he's a noob, whatever he's offering, I'll take. Oh, not bad, he's adding. He does know a little bit about value. He knows my pets are more valuable. Very nice. These my best. Okay, that seems pretty fair. You can remove the last four. There, I'm ready. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we have to make sure that he doesn't remove any of the pets. Confirm, he's not doing any switches here. Very nice. A fair trade. Good trade. GG's. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Good luck at BGS. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, Rumble Studios just released a new video. Content, bro. Content. How to safely trade in Roblox Bubblegum Simulator. Oh my god. Let's take a look. Today we're going to be teaching you how to trade safely in Bubblegum Simulator. And we'll be showing six different ways people can scam you. And what you should do if you find yourself in that situation. Six different ways? I didn't even know there were that many different ways. I thought there were like maybe four or something. I haven't really worried about it because I've never gotten scammed. A lot of the ways to get scammed is quite like obvious. Like it's um not all of them. One of them is quite tricky. Two of them. Because I already saw the video. Uh, Two of the ways people scam are quite like you can easily get scammed even if you're a pro uh no just one of the ways basically just one of the ways but yeah let's take a look at it switch scamming one of the most that's what i just showed you most common ways to get scammed is a switch scam a switch scam happens when a player switches out a pet really quickly for one that looks almost identical but isn't as valuable here's what a switch scam so yeah so the dude i just traded he would have to remove like um the lord shock and then put in another pet that's orange that kind of looks like the lord shock that way if i turning like you have to stay focused when you're trading if you look away on your phone while you're trading it can happen just like that snap and he has removed make sure you keep your focus on the trade and if you look away make sure you take a look again at the pets before you accept the offer you know game often looks like as you can see the player offering the lord shock is asking the person trading to add potion oh there this we go look change it to a similar looking pet dang you you scammer you poopy scammer we don't like you to distract users while they switch the pets something almost identical Notice how the Lord Shock gets switched almost instantly while we're not paying attention. Whenever you trade, whether it be with a close friend or- PAY ATTENTION! Okay. ...or a random person, always check the items you will be receiving and giving. Any trades that have a secret with it will always show a pop-up displaying the secret. So if you're trading for one, make sure you read it. You never know if someone could be trying to trick you, even if they are your friend. The second scam we'll be going over are fake links. Oh yeah, this one is difficult. This one even pros can get scammed by this one. Whenever you are trading with someone outside of the game, for example our Discord, some users might send you a link to their profile or VIP server. If this link is indeed fake, you could risk having your pets and even your entire account stolen. It's best that you never click any links that anyone sends, even if you trust them. Shown here is how you can- I don't agree with that. If you know you're trading me, the YouTuber Ram, uh, you can safely click on my links. But I don't know if like, if you know the other player, if it's not a YouTuber, if you know the other player that you're trading, like you know him as a friend, like in real life, you can obviously click the link. It's nothing to worry about. But if you never met the person, then, um, you know, but I heard that the links look different. The links don't look exactly like a normal link. They do look a bit different. I will have to look into that. You can join someone's VIP without having to click a link. By simply asking them, someone who isn't malicious will happily add you to their server. Whenever someone wants you to add them on Roblox, always ask for their username and not their profile link. Another one we'll go over is cross-trading. Sometimes, someone might offer you Robux or other items in different games for pets in Bubblegum Simulator. This is against Bubblegum Sim and Roblox's terms of service and could not only result in a trade ban in-game, but could even result in complete termination of your Roblox account. 
Oh my the God. correct way to deal with something like this, assuming they are in the Discord, would be to contact a moderator and report them with a screenshot. Since this is against our terms of service and Robloxes, they will be banned. Wow, wow, wait, what? Up next is double trading. This is when someone wants you to trade more pets than the trading system allows, so you have to do it in multiple trades. Make sure you never double trade, even if you trust the person you're trading with. Nah, I don't completely agree with that. Double trading can be okay if the person that you're trading is actually... Let's say you have to do two trades to, to complete the trade, because let's say you have a secret pet and the other person is... Uh, no, the other person has a really valuable secret pet and you have a lot of low valued secrets or medium valued secrets that you're trading for the, the high valued secret that means you will have to be overpaying over like two trades maybe who knows and um if let's say that person is not offering anything in the first trade you shouldn't do that trade make sure that the person that you have to double trade is offering like high valued pets in the same first trade so you don't like lose everything you just offered you know Obviously, in this situation, you wouldn't take the trade. It's too risky. The person is not offering anything in return. So, if you have to do two trades, tell the other person, add more secrets. Add more secrets to the trade before, and then I'll trade you back after. Like, something like that, you know? Never take a trade where there's, they're not offering anything at all, unless it's like if you're giving them a free gift, you know? They could always take half your pets and immediately leave, and you get nothing in return. So make sure the person is offering something is in high value in return that you might have to return after, you know? You know what I mean? There's no correct way to double trade as there is only 8 pets allowed per trade. And even if they say they'll bring in a middleman, never do double trade. Oh yeah, middleman is stupid. That would I agree with that one. Why would you get another person to do the trade? That could easily be a scam. Last but not least... Like, for example... The middleman will be like, okay, I'll take the pets and I'll give him the pets. And then <laughs> he'll give me the pets that he has to give you. Then I'll trade you at the end again. Like, no, 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 no. Not gonna work. We'll be going over pet borrowing. If you guys have ever watched any BGS YouTubers, you might notice that sometimes they borrow fans' pets to showcase. Sadly, there's people who pretend to be a YouTuber and ask to borrow your rare or special pet. Also, even if your friend asks to borrow a super rare pet, it's recommended that you don't, as you never know if they could be trying to scam you. Shown here is a fake Ram. Discord account attempting to borrow our shiny mythic die split. As you can see, when we join the game, he is not on his main account, Ram. but on a fake account without the verified title. Whenever you let someone borrow your pets that you believe to be a YouTuber, make sure that you double check they are the real deal. Under Ram's name, you can see the verified title. This means that the user is a verified YouTuber that was given the special title. Never ever let anyone who claims to be a You don't have to be verified in BGS to see that they're a YouTuber. You can look up in the corner of like for example. Oh yeah, that's another way, but I, I I'm 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 not gonna get verified in BGS. I don't wanna get verified because the chat glitches. The chat bubble glitches when you have verified title. Uh, but there's another way to know that it's the real deal. If the YouTuber has over 100,000 YouTube subscribers or like 100,000 followers on some, some social media, they can get a creator code or a star code. Use code RAM. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, <laughs> they can use... that. You can look at the player up in the corner, man. Like... It says the comet thing, you know, the comet next to the name. You get it. That means that you, that, that, that's, that it's a YouTuber. You know, it's a YouTuber. A YouTuber with over 100,000 followers. So. All right, guys. Well, that's all the trading tips we have for you today. Thanks for watching. And if any of these tips helped you guys out, be sure to let us know in the comments. As always, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. See you in the next video. Okay, bye bye. Good video, a lot of good tips. Some of them I don't completely agree with, but mostly I agree with most of the things she said in the video. Except for the double trading thing, if you know what you're doing, you can do double trading in a different way, like I mentioned earlier, but it's a bit complicated if you're a noob. Yeah. Moments later. Dude, I need to get rid of this mouth. Uh, a lot of you in the comments said in my last video, Dude, you're not equipping the right, uh... You know, this one over here. Apparently there was one. I don't know everything myself. Like I learned something new yesterday in my last video. Oh, was it two days ago? Two days ago. Red glowing eyes. So this one, I equipped that one in the last video and it's not the right one you should wear. Uh, there's one in the underworld and I didn't even know that because I never really grinded for bubbles until now, until recently. I never really cared for blowing bubbles. Well, now I'm getting closer to the final bubble price. Look, 72% done. Yee!
can't wait. So let me just unequip this one. So this one gives you a 12,000 extra bubbles per click. 9,000, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's better. I like this mouth better. Um, so I've been trying to find a trade for my shiny radiant one for a while. Uh, let me just unequip all pets. Equip. Look at that beauty. Look at it. So this one here, I'm trying to find a trade for this one. The value of this pet is like, the value of this pet around the time that I traded it was like six or 7,000 in value. And I'm looking for an OP offer. The pet is still so good that it can still be in my bubble team. So it'd be nice to find a trade where I get more bubbles. But I got a lot of bad offers in the comments. This guy can offer Lord Shock, Shiny Galactic Paladin. That's actually Shiny Galactic Paladin. I would probably take this offer. And more, I got a check my inventory but i said i said up here let me know your discord or your twitter handle like how am i gonna take this offer serious if you're not telling me your discord name or your twitter name how am i gonna contact you nice hope ram picks you good luck i, I think i would pick him that would be a nice trade. I would probably take this trade. Anthony, let me know in the comments if you're serious. We can we can debate if this is a nice... Wait, I can offer Shiny... Also a Shiny Galactic Paladin again. Pot of Gold, Ultimate Clover. Those of you who gave me these nice offers, let me know your Twitter or your Discord name in this video. All right, that's all what I had for today, guys. And I hope... Hopefully I can get a trade video in my next video. Yeah. Smash like, subscribe, put notifications on. Next time you buy Robux, I appreciate it if you use my code RAM. See you guys in the next one.